Well, what gets me is that a lot of people think that they see somebody all of a sudden come out and they're this big person and they made it, but they until they really hear the backstory of how long they built and worked and dreamed and went after something, it usually is five, eight, ten years yeah. in the making before they are all of a sudden arrived. And people think, oh, you did it overnight. You're just somebody that came out of nowhere. No, they really didn't come out of nowhere. You know. It yeah, it, it's the difference between those who make it and those who don't. Those who don't make excuses and say, I don't have 10,000 hours. Well, yeah, you kind of do because you, those 10,000 hours are going to pass regardless of what you're doing. So to say you don't have that time, uh, well, what else are you doing? Well, I'm working and sleeping, and then I'm sitting in front of the TV for eight hours a day. Well, there, that's where do you think your time's going? <laughs> well, let, let me put it in a, in a numbers because I'm a numbers person. Let me put it in a, Okay, so if you're working eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, yeah. times uh, 52, whatever, there's, there's 2,000, 2,080 hours or, or in, in a work year. So mm -hmm. in a work year, if you're working 2,000 hours, so figure five years right there of just work hours, eight hours a day, there's your, there's your 10,000 hours right there. So we've all lived more than 10,000 hours. Uh, yeah. So in that sense if you put it back into context it's not so hard to do okay so 24 hours times 365 is 8760 hours in a year so to get really good at something if you let's say you worked on something for okay so if we have 24 hours in a day let's say 4 hours times 365 that's 1460 uh, so if you're working four hours a day times, what would that be? Oh, God. So we'll go eight? Yeah, about seven years. Seven years at four hours a day, and you're going to get where you want to be. So That's not very long. <laughs> in the real scheme of things, it's really not. If you really no. put it into context and put it into smaller bites of what you're working with, it doesn't look so big. Yeah, and, and it depends on how many people you have working with you. So if you've got people that are working four hours, you're working four hours a day on one thing. They're working for four hours a day on something else that helps your business. The next person's doing four hours. The next person's doing four hours, and you're combining all of your efforts. That that's going to be take a lot less time. More probably more like four or five years. So if you can shave three years off of that. I mean, that's kind of what we're, what we're doing by giving you Udily, by telling you about Camtasia, by giving you the video FX and video and, and screencast-o-matic. It shaves some time off what I'd be doing because it would get ridiculous if I'm creating video, 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 video. That's video. why I'm doing it too, yeah. And then help because why not teach somebody else how to do yes, videos, exactly. give them programs, and then get them going, get them up and running. And by doing that, it – Actually, people are like, well, why are you outsourcing? Or why are you having other people work with you? Well, do it all yourself. Well, businesses don't run like that, and it takes time. I think a lot of people think things happen overnight, like, oh, I was just in front of the camera, and I made $100,000. No, they were at it for a few years. Now, well, those people are smoking crack. If they think that you can succeed overnight at something and have big, large success, I want to know what they're smoking. Because that, or whoever is thinking that way has got to be on something because that's not how it works. And it, the more you do it, the more it becomes habitual. So being busy does not equal, equal being productive. I mean, look at everybody else around you. They all seem busy, running from meeting to meeting, or firing off emails. You know how many of them are really producing? Probably not too many because success doesn't come from movement and activity. We know it comes from focus, from focusing on one thing at a time, from ensuring that your time is used effectively and productively. So I use mine wisely. I'm sure you guys are all using yours wisely. And we are the product of our output, not our effort. So we need to make certain that our efforts are dedicated to tasks that get the results we're looking for. Does that make sense? Sure. Yes, it does. It makes sense. You know how I know it makes sense? Because <laughs> you just picked up a coin? Yeah. <laughs> So what's the what's the next uh, reason? Yeah, let's go. 
Okay, so, well, number four is you will always have less control than you want. So there are too many extenuating circumstances in life that we can't control. We can't control every outcome. You can, however, control how you react to things that are out of your control. So from what I've learned and still learning is that your reaction is what transforms a mistake into a learning experience and ensures that victory doesn't send your ego through the roof. So there's a balancing act going on. You can't win every battle, but the, with the right attitude, you can win the war. So, there you go. Makes sense to me. What about you guys? I think battle. I'm sorry, guys, but I've got to go. So, I'll see you next week. Hey, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Thanks for stopping by. I think ultimately we are winning because even though sometimes we'll get frustrated with YouTube spotlights <laughs> or maybe a video doesn't turn out because you know something goofy happens ultimately we're winning the war because we're getting views we're getting a better every day we're getting more people every day to at least watch the content not only that we're winning the war because we keep going if we the only time we lose is when we stop and give up and say it's too hard it's too difficult and the, the example I, I would have of that is I went to a talent agency uh, about three years ago. Someone recommended me to go. They had this thing called an open call. I said, you know, I'll go. I'll check it out. And I did. And they said, no, we don't have any room for you. Um, but maybe try your stuff later. And then I got discouraged. And I said, well, I'll go back three years later. They're having an open call before a show me. I was playing with my band. I'll go do it. I have a little bit of time. And I did, and they said, come back for a second interview. I did that yesterday, which was really goofy. I was playing with shoes and talking about Dick's sporting goods and all this <laughs> kind of stuff. And they actually said, yeah. We, we'd like to represent you. Here's some paperwork and sign it, and I'm going to do that tonight, and I can get represented by a talent agency. And that was all because I stopped worrying about, like, ooh, someone said no, someone rejected me. And that's how I've got jobs, too. I get, like, 20 rejections, and I could say, man, nobody's nobody wants to employ me. I don't have good skills. My resume, you know, I smell funny, maybe they can smell me over the phone or instead of making those excuses and having those reactions to rejection that people are saying no I go most eh, part of life how I'm gonna deal with it I'm gonna keep going till I get that yes I think that's the way you handle it's not what happens people are gonna say no people are gonna reject your stuff it's can you get past the hundred thousand no's get that one yes that matters Earl Nightingale used to always say, for every no that you get, you're one more step closer to a yes. And keep going. He did say that. Congratulations, Kareem, on your good news. Thank you. Now he's going to go all Hollywood on us, though, aren't you? I am not. <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, you Dude. know why that's happening is because you give a leg up to so many people, both you and Chris, that what goes around comes around, and karma is a very strange thing. But a wise man once put it in a book. Uh, it many one? of us know it's a Bible that if you give a man a fish, it gives him a meal. If you give the man a talent, it gives them many meals. Oh, as if you teach him how to fish, it gives them many meals. If you turn there a beat, you go. then he doesn't fish. And you give many people talents, like uh, you share uh, Camtasia with people, and you teach them how to use it. Or Yeah, we're going to be charging when we start doing that, because that's... That's a lot of work. Uh, the stuff that go the the video editing that we do now takes about three to five hours per video, even if it's five to seven minutes long. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's fun though. But it's fun. It's fun. But we're going to be doing that's that's training that we're going to be offering on entrepreneurship marketing education for for certain fees. Yes. And, and you've got the Shopify, and there's a lot of effort that you both put into the Power Hour, and it's coming back to you. I'm so thrilled to hear this. <laughs> 